예쁘지? 이거 어때? 어 예쁘다. 이렇게 예쁘지? 해야 되겠다. 어 좋아. Hello you. I'm Sarah. How are you today? I'm actually here in Jeju-do for the first time in two years. And Tiny and I are here for five days total. And so this is what I bought for skincare and makeup. All of my skincare is in here. And that's all of my makeup in there. And that's for five days. And I was thinking about it. And whenever I go traveling, I'm like, oh, what skincare should I take? And I want to pack the lightest as possible. But also, I don't want my skin to go crazy because I'm using different products. So I thought I'd make a little video about my absolute must-takes for skincare traveling. I'm really passionate about skincare. I'm not a dermatologist. If you want really good advice, definitely follow Leah Yu or ask a dermatologist, but um, this is what I've done to pack light for skincare. This is also what me and Tiny, and my boyfriend, this is, we all use the same stuff together, so that makes it really easy. Two people's skincare for five days. This might be a lot compared to what other people use, or maybe it's like not very much compared to what you use. Let me know in the comments if you guys take more or less than this. I'm really curious to find out. For me, this is packing light because I have a lot of skincare at home. Anyway, we're at the Jeju-do Grand Hyatt. This is the most amazing hotel I have ever been in, by the way. You can see in the background, it is huge. Tiny actually got sponsored this hotel. So if you want to see the full hotel tour, it's on his channel and there's English subtitles and everything. The hotel food here is amazing. The room is amazing. Just check it out on his channel. This one's not sponsored by Grand Hyatt, but um, Tiny's one is, so. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> come to my channel. Yeah, come to Tiny's channel. <laughs> this channel. <laughs> yeah, hotel tour. It's really good. It's so good. Recommend big. I? Highly recommend. Uh, yeah, highly recommend. And Tiny's like pretty tall and he looks small in here now. Yeah. Okay, so skincare. I'll do skincare and then makeup. This is my must for skincares. These are my two cleansers that are musts. Ta-da! I use two cleansers. I usually cleanse once and then I will cleanse a second time. For the first one, I will use a little bit of a stronger one. And at the moment, I'm using the Claire's Gentle Deep Black Cleansing Oil. So this one I like because it comes with a clip there and I kept it when I first bought the bottle. So that way when I travel, I can put that in there and it won't like spill everywhere. I really love this cleansing oil. It helps me to get out some of the kind of like blackheads on my nose. Um, I still have them. I don't think I can get rid of them completely, but it minimizes them a little bit. It gets rid of my sunscreen, mascara, it gets rid of really well. Perfect. And then my second cleanser, since it's released like for like the last three, four years, has always been the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser from Crave Beauty. This is my holy grail. I will talk about this until I die. Not sponsored by Crave Beauty. I just buy all their stuff. I did get sponsored by them on Instagram though, which was really exciting. That was like a couple of months ago. This, it is the most gentle hydrating cleanser I have ever used. So many cleansers dry my skin out. My skin used to be oily, but now it is sort of sensitive and more on the dry side and it works so well. Whereas tiny skin is sensitive and oily and it works really well on his skin too. So dryness, we're kind of on the opposite scales now, but he just uses this one and it works so well for his skin. It doesn't strip it. I just think this is such a good all round cleanser for everyone. Oh, and if you guys want, I will put the links to all these products below. Um, some of them are affiliate links. I have Olive Young affiliates and YesStyle affiliate links. So if you like, you can click on them or you can look them up yourself either way. But I really love Olive Young here in Korea. So there's a lot of products on there too. So I will put that below for anyone internationally as well, because they have a website so if you're not in Korea, you can still buy from Olive Young. Anyway, my two cleansers. Next, toners. I bought two on this trip. This is the Mugwort Essence from I'm From. And when I bought it, it actually came with a travel size one. So this is the travel size Mugwort Essence, which was amazing because the actual full size bottle of this is glass and it's heavy. So I did not want to have to bring that with me. So I was really lucky that this one actually came with a little, sometimes they do promotions and it came with a free travel size one. I'm from Mugwood Essence. I love it. I always buy it on sale because it's I think about $40 or something if you buy it full price. But there's always a lot of sales on, so I wait for that. Super hydrating, calming, and not sticky at all. This one is like my kind of go-to toner at the moment. And Tiny's is this one too. Then 
This one I bought for when my skin is feeling a little bit dull and I want to kind of clear out the pores a little bit until I've got like a little pimple here, I put a sticker on it. <laughs> my skin's been a little bit like playing up here because you know, you wear masks and you get the mask knee. This helps kind of just clear it out. This is the Sun By Me AHA, BHA, PHA 30 Days Miracle Toner. This one I will use about twice a week and it just makes your skin really bright, glowing and so if I only went away for two days, I probably wouldn't bring this because it's more like of a treat. But since we're here for five days, I'll probably use it two out of the five days. And um, the bottle's not too heavy because I've already used like most of it. I've gone through a few bottles of this one and I have another one that we've already bought because we will definitely use it. Then serums, ta-da! This one, the Crave Beauty Great Barrier Relief. This comes with me everywhere. I have not stopped using it since it came out. Both Tiny and I use this morning and night. After the toner, I will put this on and then a moisturizer, done. This and the cleanser is the f my favorite thing in my skincare bag. I think it's, it's just so good. It stops your skin getting inflamed. It's gotten rid of some of my kind of like, uh, not, I don't know if they're sunspots, but like those kind of marks that, I don't know what they are, but they're gone after I started using this. Always comes with me every morning, every night. I've gone through so many bottles of this. Then this one, the Real Hyaluronic Blue Ample 100 from Willage. So this one I actually got, I was sponsored by Willage and I don't like to do a sponsor if I haven't tried something first. And so I asked them to send it to me in advance and I tried it out and it was so good. So I was like, yes, please sponsor me. It is the biggest bottle of serum you'll find. I think it's, a, it's 100 mils. So it lasts ages. Tiny and I have been using this for three, four months now. So I use it every night and Tiny uses it when he's feeling like dry. Leaves your skin feeling super hydrated and kind of like plump and I just really like it. And it's not too oily, which is good because sometimes serums can leave you feeling really sticky. Like some of the ordinary serums, they're great, but they just leave that stickiness behind, which I don't love as much. Then next, really simple. Moisturizer. This one is one that we started using quite recently. This is the Claire's Rich Moist Soothing Cream. I got this one as part of PR. Claire sent this one to me and I already love Claire's. Their cleansing oil is what I bought. I also have gone through many bottles of their supple toner. Those I've used probably like eight or 10, eight bottles of that I think over the years because that's really moisturizing. I love that in the winter time when it's really dry here in Korea, but I had never tried one of their moisturizers and they sent me this and I was like, oh my goodness, it has become one of my favorite moisturizers. I think this, Leah's moisturizer, I love that in the summertime, but it's not as hydrating me for me in the winter. And now it's getting dry here in Korea. I need something a little bit stronger. This moist soothing cream, it, the, the title is so spot on. It is moisturizing and it's a little bit thick, but it's not oily and sticky. I cannot stand the sticky moisturizers. I hate it when you put it on your face and it's like tacky and it doesn't absorb in. This moisturizes your skin, but it's not sticky. It absorbs in well, but it doesn't feel matte. They have got it spot on. And Tiny and I usually use different moisturizers because my skin's so dry and his is oily that if he uses a really oily moisturizer, it feels too much for him. And so he uses a lot of gel-based ones. Surprisingly, this cream one works really well for both of us. Honestly, thank you, Claire, for sending this because I will be buying it when I run out. And because Tiny and I use things together, we do go through things pretty quickly. If you have sensitive skin, if you don't like those thick oily moisturizers, but sometimes gel is too thin for you, like sometimes gels, they kind of absorb and then it feels like it didn't even moisturize. If you feel like that, I recommend trying this one. I bought this one with me too. As a treat, this is my favorite clay mask in the whole world. I have a big tube of it back at, the, back at our house. I bought so much that when I bought it, they gave me this little travel one as a little freebie. This is the Jordella Organic Hemp Clay Mask. This is the best clay mask I have ever tried. Since I found this, I have not bought a single other clay mask. I literally bought 10 of these clay masks to bring with me to Korea when I was in Australia last time, which was like two years ago. And I have nearly used them up now because I haven't been able to go back to Australia for two years nearly. I've talked about this brand before. This is Jordella. She is this wonderful lady who makes her own skincare in the Tambourine Mountains in Australia. Beeswax and honey and 
I love skincare products that incorporate those. I find they work really well for my skin. And this clay mask, if you try it, you will never use it another clay mask again. It's really reasonably priced and it works so well. You put it on your skin and the next day it is shining. So we used it last night and besides my friendly little pimple, it helped to bring the pimple out actually because it kind of draws oil to the surface. So besides my pimple friend here, it actually made the rest of my face quite lovely, I think. Uh, I don't have any foundation on. I haven't worn foundation for the last few years. So that's my skin that you can see. I just have concealer under my eyes in case you were wondering. Hemp clay mask, I cannot get enough of it. So I bought a little travel pack with me because the, the real tubes are about that big and they last quite a long time. I do that maybe once a week or twice a week if I am feeling very fancy. <laughs> then last step during the day, sunscreen. Because I hate getting my fingers sticky. This is the AHA Sunstick. Tiny and I have been using this and it, there's also another one which is basically the same thing but it has like a little orange scroll here. This sunstick is my favorite thing because you can slide it up like this and then when you put it on, you literally, it's almost like has like a gua sha effect here. You, you know how there's all those rose quartz ones? I feel like I'm doing that to my face but it's really easy to reapply because you don't have to get your fingers sticky and these days I don't want to touch my face that much if I can help it without sanitizing. So if you're out and about and you have to reapply, you don't have to do all this. You can just put it on that way and it's super easy. So this has been our go-to sunscreen for probably about two and a half years, I think. I have other sunscreens as well that are like the liquid ones, but this is so convenient for traveling because it's really easy to reapply. Then, pimple patches because we're still wearing masks every day, so still struggling with like occasional pimples here, nothing too bad, just like enough that I need a sticker every now and then. This one's Nola Hour, which if you follow my Korean channel, I actually did a sponsorship with them and that's how I found out about these guys. Uh, this video isn't sponsored by the way, it's not sponsored by anyone. And this is actually the Olive Young ones, which is what I was using before these. And now I use both of them. The Olive Young ones, I really like because one, they sell them at the shops here. I think they're on, on, on the Olive Young store. I will have a look and put a link to them if they are. They're really reasonably priced. They suck out the inside of like the pimple so well. The only downside is, is that the glue, I seem to have a little bit of reaction to like the sticker adhesive. Um, Tiny is fine with them, but when I put them on, it leaves the area around quite red. So I only use them at night when I have like a really angry pimple to like draw all the ooze out. I like how they stick and how much they absorb. The Nola Hour ones, I love these ones because they're a matte finish. So if you wear them during the day, they are so much better camouflaged. So you don't really, it's not super obvious that you're wearing it and they're thinner than the Olive Young ones. So I kind of save these ones to wear during the day and I wear these at night. This one, the adhesive, my skin doesn't react to. So I really like that. And I don't get that kind of angry redness, just normal pimple angry redness. And that is all the skincare that I bring. That's all I need. Again, it might be a lot for you or maybe it's not much. I'm not sure. There. I do like skincare though. So as for makeup, I used to bring quite a bit of makeup. I would bring eyeshadow palettes, uh, foundation. I really liked doing my makeup or fancy on holidays. But for the last kind of three, four years, I stopped wearing foundation because I wore it too much and then it kind of like, I felt like my skin was getting worse. And I kind of don't like the feel of foundation on my face. If I ever find a really light one or maybe like a tinted moisturizer, I think I would like to try that. I don't wear too much makeup these days. Most of it's laziness. Some of it is just, I like the feeling of not wearing foundation. Um, a lot of it is that, but I do love mascara. I love eye makeup. So this is my little travel makeup. I really like how compact it is in my little <laughs> BT21 case. This looks super grungy now. So don't judge me. I need to buy a new one. <laughs> this was clear, the clear brow gel from Etude House. Mac also has a really good one, but the Mac is a lot more expensive. It's like 30 something dollars. Whereas this one was like $6 or something. It's way cheaper and they're very, very similar. I like the Mac a teeny bit more, but I don't like the price. So <laughs> I go with this one. That was clear colored, but now it's like kind of mixed with sunscreen and a bit dank. So I need to buy a new one. I use clear eyebrow gel to put my brows in place. My eyebrows are very thick. I get a lot of comments asking, 
for like an eyebrow tut tutorial. I don't know whether I should make that video or not. Do you want to see that? Because I feel like the video would be like, just be super hairy like me. Or I don't have a technique to it. It's literally just, I just brush them into place and I pluck them a lot. After I do that, I have my mascara. This is probably my favorite mascara that I bought from a Korean brand. It's the Perfect Curling Mascara by The Seam. I found a lot of Korean mascaras haven't suited my eyelashes because the brushes, the wands don't kinda, they would always clump. But this one I feel like separates my eyelashes nicely. The Seam actually, The Seam the same. I'm really impressed with their little makeup line. And a friend of mine told me about their concealer, which is what I use under my eyes. The Seam's Cover Perfection Tip Concealer. This is one I've also used for ooh, maybe a year or more in so it's color number one. For makeup, we have brow gel, mascara, and this concealer, which I like because it blends into my natural skin tone very well. It's very thin. because I don't want to put on a thick concealer with no foundation because I feel like that would look very odd. And I literally just get a small dab and I dab it under my eyes. Done, but that's it. And then this is my face shop, Flash Pink Powder Beam. This is a highlighter, which I sometimes, if I'm not feeling super lazy, I dab in the corner of my eyes and I feel like it just makes my eyes look a little bit brighter and it adds a little bit of pink sparkle without me having to do like a whole eyeshadow thing because then you have to bring your brushes and eyeshadow palettes and then it gets heavy. So this is like my little, want a little bit of sparkle, but I don't want to bring a whole eyeshadow palette. And then the last, or second last one, is the Master Strobing Stick from Maybelline, which is actually a cream highlighter. I like to put that on my cheeks, like this. And then I dab that in like that. And it's not super obvious, but I think you can see there a little bit. It just adds a little bit of sparkle and because it's a cream one, it goes really well on no foundation because it melts into your skin, whereas a powder would sit more on top, I feel. And also if I wore foundation, I feel like this wouldn't work that well because you rub it into your skin. So wouldn't it just like rub a hole in the foundation? Anyway, I think it's great for no foundation because it looks dewy and natural. And then lastly, just Burt's Bees colored pomegranate lip balm. I never really wore a lot of lipstick. I love it, but I never reapply it. I always forget. So I really like tinted lip balms because as they kind of disappear throughout the day, you don't get like a lipstick line, which I, then I don't need to worry about reapplying or not reapplying like I normally don't. <laughs> and that is it. That's my two little bags. So those two products go in here and uh, that's all you need. If you guys liked this video, let me know when I'll do more skincare stuff just from someone who was excited about it to someone else who was excited about it. I know I'm not the most knowledgeable on skincare, but these days a lot of the skincare reviews get really technical about the ingredients and everything. And I think it's so good to know about, but sometimes I just want to know what my friend <laughs> would think about it. So if that's kind of the review that, that you look forward to, let me know because that's what I think about. So yeah, if you would like advice from your big sister, that is what I can do for you. <laughs> your big sister who is kind of lazy. I will put the links for everything below so you can find it or look it up. And yeah, let me know what your products are because I'm always hyped to hear new ones. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next video. So will Tiny. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Have a good day. Have a good day. I'll blow you a kiss. Bless you.